Hi friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we have to discuss about stacked bar chart in Matplotlib library of Python programming course. Stacked bar chart is one type of bar chart. This chart shows the stacked bar chart. On the x-axis, I am taking the years. On the y-axis, I am taking the total sales of refrigerators. Okay. In the stacked bar chart, each bar represents the total sales of refrigerators in a particular year. So, this bar, first bar represents the total sales of refrigerators in 2019. Second bar represents the total sales of refrigerators in 2020. The third bar represents the total sales of refrigerators in 2021. Fourth bar represents the total sales of refrigerators in 2022. In this bar, there are three colors are there. Okay. Red color represents the LG refrigerator sales. Blue color represents the Godrej refrigerator sales. Orange color represents the white pole refrigerator sales. Okay. Now, so here, on the x-axis, I am taking the years 2019, 2020, 2021, 2022. So, here, LG refrigerators that are sailed in 2019 is 30, 2020 is 40, 2021 is 50, 2022 is 60. Godrej refrigerators sailed in 2019 is a 60, 2020 is 50, 2021 is a 60, 2022 is a 70. White pool refrigerator sailed in 2019 is 80, 2020 is a 60, 2021 is a 70, 2022 is 80. So, total refrigerator sales in 2019 is 30 plus 60 plus 80 that is equal to 170. 30 means LG refrigerator sales, 60 means Godrej refrigerator sales, 80 means Whirlpool refrigerator sales. 2020 refrigerator sales is equal to 40 plus 50 plus 60 that is equal to 150. 2021 refrigerator sales is 50 plus 60 plus 70 that is 180. 2022 refrigerator sales is 60 plus 70 plus 80 that is equal to 2010. Now, this example can be represented by using by using stacked bar flag. For this example, this is the result of stacked bar chart. Okay. How to draw this stacked bar chart that can be implemented within the Google Collapse? Okay. Next one. So, stacked bar chart is one more type of bar chart. Stacked bar chart is used to show how a larger category is divided into smaller categories. That means, <coughs> this is the larger category, total sales of refrigerator in 2019. That can be divided into some three subcategories. That is, total sales of LG refrigerators plus total sales of Godrej refrigerators plus total sales of Whirlpool refrigerators. And what the relationship of each part 
has on the total amount. That means LG refrigerator sales, how these sales affect the total sales of refrigerators in 2019. Okay. How the Whirlpool refrigerator sales that impact on the total sales of refrigerators in 2019. So, that is also shown by using stacked bar chart. In stacked bar chart, each bar is divided into some segments. Okay, we already see that. So, this bar can be divided into three segments. Here and here and here. Each and every bar can be divided into three segments. How this one segment can affect the total sales of refrigerators? That is also shown by using stacked bar chart. Now we can go for the system. So this is a Google Collapse Editor. Without installing matplotlib library, simply we have to import the matplotlib library. Okay. First, import matplotlib. So we are importing the matplotlib library. So, click on this video button. Now, this is a successfully executed whenever we are getting the tick mark. Okay. Next one is... We have to import the pyplot module in matplotlib library to draw the stacked bar chart. So, import matplotlib dot pyplot. So, by using this statement, we are importing the pyplot module in matplotlib library to draw the stacked bar chart. Now, we are providing the alternative name for matplotlib.pyplot. Import matplotlib.pyplot as plt. So, here plt is the alternative name for matplotlib.pyplot. Whenever matplotlib.pyplot is required, simply we have to use the alternative name plt. Okay. By using this alternative name, we are accessing the functions of matplotlib library. Next one is, I am taking years. Years is equal to within the square bracket I am giving 2019 comma 2020 2021 2022 Okay. So, I am taking one array years array in that one, 2019, 2020, 2021, 2022, I am taking. Next one, <coughs> total sales. Total sales is equal to, here I am taking 170, 150, 180, 210. Total sales of refrigerators in 2019 is 170, 
2020 is 150 2021 is 180 2022 is 210 okay next one we are providing the title plt dot title sales comparison sales comparison sales comparison of refrigerators refrigerators using stacked bar chart stacked bar chart next one here i am using bar function okay by using that bar function we have also draw the stacked bar chart on the x axis i am taking years on the y axis i am taking total sales and the width of each bar is equal to 0.4 next one is plt dot show this function is used for show the chart now see this we are also providing the labels also okay here i am giving plt dot x label we are providing the label for x axis as years next one we are providing the label for y axis plt dot y label on the y label i am taking total sales okay. now we have to execute this code so see this one so title of this chart is sales comparison of refrigerators using stacked bar chart now on the x axis i am taking years on the y axis i am taking total sales in 2019 how many number of refrigerators are sold 170 see this one this is 170 in 2020 how many refrigerators are sold that is 150 in 2021 how many number of refrigerators are sold that is 180 in 2022 how many number of refrigerators are sold that is 210 okay now now this total sales is divided into some categories okay so here in 2019 170 refrigerators are sold among the 170 refrigerators so some are lg refrigerators some are whirlpool refrigerators some are godrej refrigerators so 2019 total sales refrigerators are divided into three categories okay now up to this i am copy this code control c control b next one here i am taking LG refrigerators. LG is equal to in 2019. So I am taking 30 refrigerators are sale. In 2020, 40 refrigerators are sale. In 2021, 50 refrigerators are sale. In 2022, 60 refrigerators are sale. Now 
नेक्स्ट वन इज गोदरेज इन 2019, so 40 refrigerators are sold. In 2020, 50 refrigerators are sold. In 2021, 60 refrigerators are sold. In 2022, 70 refrigerators are sold. Next one. Next, wild pool refrigerators. Wild pool. In 2019. 50 refrigerators are sold in 2020 60 refrigerators are sold in 2021 70 refrigerators are sold in 2022 80 refrigerators are sold okay in 2019 total number of refrigerators are sold 30 plus 40 plus 50 so total 120 refrigerators are sold in 2020 how many number of refrigerators are sold 40 plus 50 Plus sixty, that is one fifty refrigerators are sold. In two thousand twenty one, how many number of refrigerators are sold? Fifty plus sixty plus seventy, that is one eighty refrigerators are sold. In two thousand twenty two, how many number of refrigerators are sold? Sixty plus seventy plus eighty, that is two ten refrigerators are sold. Okay, now. we are giving the title plt dot title sales comparison refrigerator sales refrigerators sales comparison using stacked bar chart this is the title of the chart next giving the labels plt dot x label plt dot x label is years next plt dot y label is total sales next plt dot bar here i am taking on the x axis years i am taking on the y axis only lg i am taking okay here i am not considering the total sales i am taking the individual sales of each category that is lg godrej and whirlpool comma width is equal to 0.4 okay next one plt dot bar on the x axis i am taking the years and the y axis i am taking godrej Width is equal to zero point four. Next one. Plt dot bar 
years and the x axis years and the y axis i am taking while pool while pool comma width is equal to 0.4 next one plt dot show so see this one we click on this button and execute this code see this one so here the bars lg godrej and whirlpool bars are overlapped okay so see this one in the 2019 only how many number of sales are there 50 sales are there only whirlpool is shown here within the bar the remaining two bars are hidden that is uh, godrej sales and lg sales are overlapped with the whirlpool bar okay so here one bar override the remaining bars okay how to show each and every individual category within a particular year with a different color so for that one i am changing this code with a small change here by using a parameter called bottom b o t t o m bottom is equal to lg okay that means on the lg on the lg category godrej category should be inserted first lg category is displayed on that one godrej category is displayed on that one while pool category is displayed because here three bars are overlapped within 2019 year that is lg bar godrej bar while pool bar three bars are overlapped only while pool bar is displayed here also three bars are overlapped here also three bars are overlapped here also three bars are overlapped to show each and every individual category within a single bar for that purpose i am using one parameter called bottom bottom is equal to lg first lg category is displayed on each and every bar on that lg category godrej category will be shown on that godrej category while pool category is shown sum of lg category plus godrej category plus while pool category gives the total sales of refrigerators within a particular year okay now here i am giving bottom is equal to w underscore start i am explaining once we are writing the code here w underscore start is equal to here lg of i plus godrej godrej of i for i in 
रेंज पर आई एन रेंज एल ई एन ऑफ एल ई एन ऑफ एल जी here i am giving the labels also label label is equal to lg and color is equal to red color is equal to red next here also i am giving the label label is equal to godrej godrej and color is equal to color is equal to blue so each and every category is displayed with a label and color label is equal to while pool color is equal to orange now color is equal to orange here one more parameter i am writing whenever we are using the labels here plt dot legend legend function we are using whenever label parameter we are using so see this one now how this chart is changed by including this code here one parameter bottom is added and another parameter label we are adding and another parameter color we are adding now we have to execute this code so see this one <coughs> the bottom category is lg sales in each and every bar the next category is godrej sales the next category is whirlpool sales okay so each and every bar can be represented with different color okay so lg representatives are shown with red color godrej representatives are shown with the blue color while pool representatives are shown with the uh, orange color okay so total in 2019 total number of representative sales is 30 plus 40 plus 50 that is 120 so see this one 120 representatives are sold in 2019 among 120 so 30 are lg representatives so see this one 30 are lg representatives that are represented with red color next 40 are godrej representatives so next party so this is a 40 represented with blue color next 50 are wild pool representatives so so wild pool representatives are represented with the orange color so 50 plus 40 plus 30 that is equal to 120 so here bottom lg representatives are there so here this one bottom lg representatives are there in each and every year bottom or lg representatives are there 
so 30 refrigerators 2020 40 refrigerators 2030 2021 50 refrigerators are there 2022 60 refrigerators are there okay on the bottom of each and every bar LG refrigerators are sales so after that LG refrigerator sales of each and every bar next category is Godrej refrigerator sales okay so after that Whirlpool refrigerator sales so each and every bar can be divided into three subcategories one is uh, LG refrigerator sales and another one is Godrej refrigerator sales and another one is Whirlpool refrigerator sales. By adding the LG refrigerator sales, Whirlpool refrigerator sales and Godrej refrigerator sales is equal to total sales of refrigerators in a particular year. Okay, that can be shown by using a chart that chart is called as stacked bar chart okay before stacked bar chart we are showing only a single bar but within a single bar how can you divide the single bar in, into some subcategories that subcategories is also shown by using stacked bar chart but in a in a virginal bar chart we are not shown each and every bar is divided into some subcategories okay whenever a single bar is divided into some subcategories each and every subcategories is shown with a separate color by using only stacked bar chart okay so in the stacked bar chart so each bar is divided into some subcategories each and every subcategory can be represented with a different color how this subcategory can impact the total sales of refrigerators in a particular year that means how the LG refrigerator sales can impact the total sales of refrigerators in a particular year. How the Godrej refrigerator sales can affect the total sales of refrigerators in a particular year. How the Whirlpool refrigerator sales can affect the total sales of refrigerators in a particular year. So that can be shown by using stacked bar chart. Okay. So first in the bottom of each and every bar. So we are giving the LG refrigerator sales. Okay. On the LG refrigerator sales, we are uh, giving the Godrej refrigerator sales. Okay. On the LG and Godrej refrigerator sales, above that one, we are giving the Whirlpool refrigerator sales. So, Whirlpool refrigerator sales is nothing but LG refrigerator sales plus Godrej refrigerator sales plus. So, Whirlpool refrigerator sales can start with w underscore start w underscore start is equal to lg refrigerator sales plus godrej refrigerator sales okay so while pool refrigerator sales can start from addition of lg refrigerator sales plus godrej refrigerator sales so in the 2019 year LG refrigerator sales is 30 and Whirlpool and Godrej refrigerator sales is 40. So, 30 plus 40 that is a 70. 
So while pool refrigerator sales in 2019 starts from 70. Okay, 70 plus while pool refrigerator sales is 50. 70 plus 50 that is 120. So this is a 30. This is a 40. 30 plus 40 that is a 70. 70 plus 50 that is 120. Okay, so here this is 40. This is 50. 40 plus 50 that is 90. 90 plus 60 that is 150. So this is 50 and this is a 60. 50 plus 60, 110. 110 plus 70 that is 180. Next, this is a 60. This is a 70. 60 plus 70, 130. 130 plus 80 that is a 210. Okay. So, 210 we are getting LG refrigerator sales plus Godrej refrigerator sales plus Whirlpool refrigerator sales. Okay. So, this is a 60, this is a 70, this is a 80 that is a 210. Okay. This is 50, this is a 60, this is a 70 that is 180. So, this is 40, this is 50 that is a 60 that is 150. This is 30, this is 40, this is 50, that is 120. Okay. In this way, we have to draw the stacked bar chart. In the stacked bar chart, we are comparing the refrigerator sales of a 2019, 2020, 2021, 2022 years. In each and every year, how many number of uh, LG refrigerator sales, how many number of Godrej refrigerators are sold, how many number of Whirlpool refrigerators are sold. Okay, this is a vertical stacked bar chart. How can you draw the horizontal stacked bar chart? For that one, we have to change some changes in this code. For that one, I am copy this code, control C. Control V. So here, instead of bottom, I am taking left. Instead of bottom, I am taking left parameter. Instead of width, I am taking height parameter. Only I am doing some changes in the above code. Instead of taking bottom, I am taking only left. Instead of width, I am taking height. Here also height. Next one, here I am taking bar H. To draw the horizontal bar chart, stacked bar chart, we are using bar H function. Bar H function. Okay. Now, we have to execute this code. So, see this one. On the x-axis, so here I am changing the labels. So that one, X label is nothing but here total sales. Okay. These two I am removing. Okay. So see this one. In 2022, Okay, how many number of refrigerators are sold? 210 refrigerators are sold. In 2021, how many number of refrigerators are sold? So that is 180 refrigerators are sold. In 2020, 150 refrigerators are sold. In 2019, that is 120 refrigerators are sold. Okay. So, this is called as horizontal 
stacked bar chart horizontal stacked bar chart so here we are changing the labels also here plt dot x label is total sales plt dot y label is nothing but years now again we are executing this code so see this one so on the x axis total sales is there on the y axis years is there in each and every particular year how many number of refrigerators are sale that can be shown in this bar can be divided into three categories each and every category represents the sales of a particular refrigerator so this is the horizontal stacked bar chart and this is a vertical stacked bar chart okay so here red color represents the lg refrigerators blue color represents the godrej refrigerators and orange color represents the whirlpool refrigerators for uh, drawing the horizontal stacked bar chart we are using bar h function and parameters are height parameter we are taking instead of width parameter for drawing the vertical bar chart we are use vertical stacked bar chart we are using bar function here i am taking width parameter okay one more parameter bottom parameter we are using so which refrigerator sales on the bottom on the above which refrigerator sales on the above which re which refrigerator sales are shown in a single bar that can be shown by using stacked bar chart in this way we have to draw the horizontal and vertical stacked bar chart by using pyplot module of matplotlib library okay previously watch the bar chart video in matplotlib library for better understanding of stacked bar chart in matplotlib library thank you thank you for watching this video if you like this video please share this video to your friends and classmates if you like this video click on the like button and uh, click on the bell icon after subscribing my youtube channel divela srinivasa rao don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel if you have any doubts please put your doubts in the comment section i will clarify your doubts okay so this line represents the where the wild pool refrigerator sales starts wild pool refrigerator sales starts from the combining the lg refrigerator sales and godrej refrigerator sales okay whatever the value we are getting after combining lg refrigerator sales and godrej refrigerator sales from that onwards wild pool refrigerator sales starts so for that one we are using this line okay thank you thank you for watching this video